Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, Crafting Adventures with Amy. I was on a live this morning with Froggy Wind and Knitting and Carrie the Yarny Elephant and Sam, I don't remember her full name, Manfias Makes Sam or something like that, and then Sin with Sin's Crafting World. And we talked about some of our different, it kind of hosted me and Sin our different makes that we make, things that we make. So I went on there and I talked about different things that I do or use, tools and stuff for tatting. So I figured I'd make a video, seeing as if I've got everything kind of spread out here, I'd make a video um, to post to my channel. My channel is Crafting Adventures with Amy. So I do m multiple things, not just crocheting and knitting. I like to do tatting and um, some cross stitching and I've done some card making and diamond painting and there could be something more I'm not thinking of. Um, I do in home daycare, so I am pretty busy, but I like to bring some of that crafty stuff for the kids to try out too. So I figured I'd share just a few, some of the tools. And in case you didn't know, there are three different ways of tatting. One is shuttle tatting, which is what I do more of. And here's what a shuttle looks like. It's got a little hook on the end, kind of like a little crochet hook um, on the end, and that's for putting stitches together. And then it comes, you have to load a bobbin with your thread. Now a bobbin is just like a sewing bobbin, and you have to hand load, hand wind the thread on it. I haven't really found a machine. I've heard or I read that you're supposed to be able to fit it on the end of your your shuttle and then to be able to hold it so you can wind it easier but I don't I can't ever seem to get it to work but I just might not be doing it right then after you get your bobbin filled with thread it's kind of easier to see in the brick area here but you get it filled with thread and then you just pop it in to the center of the shuttle I always like my thread to come out a certain way so Kind of picky about what way I put it in but I like the thread to come out kind of where the hook is the hook is going down right now and the thread always for me I like it to come out on that side so you just pop it in there and then it's, and then it's in there and then you just do the tatting um this isn't a tutorial because I'm not teaching tatting but I wrap it around one hand and then when you do the tatting, you kind of wrap it around your other hand and then you work in between your fingers here to do the tatting. So that's kind of, that's shuttle tatting. Then there's two other ways of tatting. There's needle tatting and then there's crow tatting. And what I did was I taped, I'm recycling because I'm reusing a box. We do that a lot with daycare. But I taped, there's four different crow tatting, uh, crow tatting needle tatting needles here and they're kind of like a darning needle they've got a hole in them that you put the thread through and then there's a certain way that you use them i've done needle tatting and crow tatting i do shuttle more um i just kind of i learned that from my grandma and that's just kind of what i do more of and then there's two crow tatting hooks here um one is bigger as you can tell it is a bigger shaft on it and then this other one is skinnier um, the black handled one I can seem I can find on Amazon and stuff, but I can't seem to find this one anywhere. So and then I have a box here. It's from Handy Hands Padding. Um, they do have a website, HHT. I don't remember it offhand. I don't go there very often, but it does say Handy Hands on here. And this is where I keep my crochet my crow tatting hooks and the needles the needle tatting in so I just put them in here and they just then I don't lose them and I know right where they are the the needle tatting needles do come in like a kind of like old school like test tubes or whatever a tube and it does say handy hands tatting needles on here I don't know if anything is the right way if you guys are not I'm using a computer now um, where before I used my iPad, so I don't know how it's going to work. But, and then you just pop open the top. It is made out of plastic, so it's not going to, like, break like glass would. 
um, just pop over the top and pop open the top and then keep your needles in here. And it does say on here the sizes of the needles too. So that's that's kind of nice. So And then I just put them in here and shut it and put them in the other room with my tatting supplies. Now there's different types of thread as well. And I put on a, another piece of cardboard. Here are the different types. There's different um, like sizes of thread, like you would find for crocheting thread. So the one on the bottom is size 40. That's one of the smallest ones that I have. Um, then there's size, um, I can't read it backwards, size 30, 20, 10, and 3. Now, as you go higher in the number, the thread gets smaller. There is an 80 as well, and I think that's kind of like a sewing thread. Um, so, yeah, I just put that on just to kind of show how the different sizes go. So, um, now when I did my last order from Handy Hands, I needed some different colored threads. So, I did order this. This is Elizabeth threads. And I really like, I love the colors in this one. They have packs that you can buy, you can order. And I really love the colors in this one. Now I think they were running a sale and I was doing some crosses, tatted crosses for some people and I need some, needed some different colors. So I did order this. And when I got it, I did, I also received some free little samples of um, different types of thread, different sizes. And they each came with this little note. If I can get it to where the, it's not, sorry about that. I, it just it just says about it. Um, I might get interrupted here. I can hear my husband coming down the steps, the steps for the deck outside. So there are some different, they, they come like in little bobbins. These are just samples. They're not like the big balls that you get there. They're just samples. But this is the size three. And then it, they came in these nice little bags. So I can keep them in those bags. And then this is, it was fun to see the different colors as well. This is size 10 that they sent me as a sample. And then this is the size 40. Kind of hard to see the color. It's lighter colors on that one. So it was fun to get them as a free sample. It wasn't anything I was expecting. It's always nice to get something free. Now I do use this DMC floss uh, thread a lot for when I do tatting. And this one here, you can see on the top, it does say, um, you can see up there it says a N and then a 30. So this is number 30 thread. And then this one is the Elizabeth thread. And inside there you can see it's a number 20 thread. And the way I keep my bobbins when I get them thread on them and I'm done with them for the time being, I do store them inside here. You can see there's a bobbin in there. Um, because it still has thread on it, and sometimes colors are similar, and so I want to make sure I've got the right color bobbin, the leftover with the the ball of thread, so I can use it. Now I'm going to share some of the projects that I have made with, uh, with my tatting. This is um, you've probably seen some of these on other people's videos, if you're subscribed to some of them. Um, this is one of the tatted cross bookmarks that I've made. I have sold these in the past for $5 for um, for one of them. So, they're, they're, for me, they're easy to make now. But, I mean, it is a lot of work to make them. And then this is just a small, small doily. It's made with white and green. Then these are in sleeve protectors, so I hope I can get them to show up. But I just thought I would share some of the stuff I've made. I don't have any of these here anymore. I, you know, I'd made them for gifts for people. 
Um, but this is a, it's called Roses to Keep, a doily, the tat and make. I really like the flower, the rose flower in the middle. It's a fun one to make. So that's that one. Here's kind of the full picture. And then I do have it on the back here in where I used pink and then green as well. And this one is called Circle of Crosses, where it's got a bunch of crosses. And as you do the white, um, you, you hook them together as you do the white tatting on them. It's kind of a close up of it. And then I have one here in yellow. I keep looking out the window because my husband is, we're putting on a handicap ramp so we can maybe get my cousin cousin here that I'm guardianship of. So get him in the house so he can come here to visit more often. Or we can get him here to visit more often. We have to go pick him up with the handicap van we got. This one is a starlight doily and I put pink on there because I did it with pink, a variegated pink thread, but it's right there. And then this one, throw it on the front there, I can't read it. But that one is just a different shape. <clears throat> flower motive, it was just a flower motif, motif motif <laughs> that I found and I just put it together and I must have just created the border to add around it. Now the last two, there's a little bit, little stories around them. Um, I've made tablecloths in the past and this tablecloth I made for my aunt and uncle's 50th wedding anniversary as a gift. Um, I We were out there for a visit. We went out for our 25th wedding anniversary, me and my husband and, and girls went out because I did a big party for my aunt and uncle's 50th. So we went out to California and I live in Minnesota. We drove out there for their party and they also did a little something for us because it was our 25th wedding anniversary as well. Um, and I was tatting and my husband said when I get it done that he would he would pay for me to fly out there. Um, and bring it out there to them in person. So that is what we did when I got it done. So this is just a picture of me uh, with them when I did. They both passed away now, um, but they they loved that tablecloth. So this here is on their table. It's hard to see because there's like a yellow um, tablecloth, you know, a fabric one underneath it. But you can kind of get the idea of what it looked like. And this again was just one of the motive motifs, I can't say that word, that I found. And I just created the tablecloth using it and stitching it together. And then the last one I'm gonna show, uh, my, my grandma who taught me how to, how to do tatting, she had made my mom and dad uh, a tablecloth for their 25th wedding anniversary. And it had it had started to fall apart. Now, my dad passed away quite a while ago, and my mom passed away in 2013. But this was before, of course, she passed away. She asked me, she used it a lot at her place, and then it was starting to come apart. So she asked me if I could fix it. Well, it's really hard to fix tatting. Um, tatting isn't like crocheting. You can't just rip it apart. Um, kind of like knitting well knitting you can pull apart too tatting you really got to pick each stitch apart if you make a mess which I make a mess I make plenty of mistakes on my tatting as well but I took apart some of that doily and kind of figured out the pattern and what I did was I made that same pattern into a tablecloth for my mom and my stepdad and I had it done for the day that they got married. Their um, their wedding cake was on the table with this tablecloth on. So, and I gave it to them, I think the night before their wedding, I think is when I gave it to them. So it turned out real. I really like it. It turned out really good. It was nice. It was a circle one. So it was something different. Now, when I pulled apart the, 
find it here. When I pulled apart the other tablecloth that was my grandma's, she, I took, I was able to get two sections of it that were together enough, and I was able to put it in, put it in shadow boxes. Um, and I did one for me to keep here because I carried on the tatting that my grandma had done, and then I gave one to my mom. So this is part of my grandma's original tatted tablecloth. I just put it on a piece of black felt, and then I, I don't know, remember if I sewed it on the back or whatever, but it's on there. And then my mom has the exact same thing with one of the big ones in the middle and then just showcases the small ones around it. So if I ever want to remake it too, I could look at this probably and just kind of figure out a new a pattern for it. And then I guess there are two more. There's two more big, um, big doilies that I have here that I just wanted to share that I've made. And I've got them on some cardboard. But here's one of them. I just know some people in our Zoom group have asked, you know, I've wanted to see it. And so I figured I would. I'm just making a big a video for it now. I did do it on the live today as well. And there's one more here. This one has some yellow in it. I just have it kind of tacked on here so the top one is kind of falling over. But you get the idea. I didn't sew the whole thing on. Because they're not going to stay on these. They're going to go back in my cabinet. Um, And then I just brought over here like an example of different colored of uh, threads. You know, the threads that you can buy. I think I just got this off of Amazon or something. but. This is the different colors that I like to use on the edges of the crosses and stuff that I've made. So I think that's it. I think I showed everything I was going to show that had to do with um, with what I do with tatting. I am working on uh, commission tatting for someone. And, then, and if you have any questions or you're interested in any tatting products or anything, I don't have um a p.o box or anything so if you ever want to get a hold of me or and for any reason at all you have to email me and my email is amylovescrafts at yahoo.com and i'll put it i'll put get it put up here in text and then it'll be in the description box down below as well um gosh i think that's it Whew. um yeah, I think that's everything. So have a good day, everyone. And happy crafting. See you next time. I don't have like a little slogan that I say at the end, but have a good afternoon, a good weekend. We'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.